Hi, I'm Amy Shannon. Um, this video is intended to kind of give a little bit of tips and experience for myself to parents who are now homeschooling their children or their kids have to find a new and unique way um, to continue school because that learning is so important. Um, I previously homeschooled my two sons, William and Lewis. Um, they, I homeschooled them in 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. Um, William with a special education academic program and with Lewis a regular school academic program. Um, and I had the benefit of actually preparing and creating the curriculum um, and make sure that it was, um, it met the New York State guidelines. Um, parents now, um, if they weren't homeschooling before, um, they may be doing that now. Some parents are lucky enough to be able, they have to work from home, um, but their kids also have um, learning experiences that they need to do. I mean, um, education is very important to everyone. Um, you know, it, it, it just um, opens up a, a big world for them. Um, even if right now we feel like um, our world is very small and maybe just within our our own household. Um, one thing I can, uh, from experience, that I can recommend is that um, when you prepare for your learning, try to do it on a, a set schedule. That is something that can, um, you know, it, it's consistent. Um, kids, especially... Um, elementary age and younger um, and even um, older children they need some kind of still structure with the education and I know that teachers all around the world are doing uh, remarkable and creative ways to keep contact with their students uh, most of it virtually sometimes they're just loading up videos um, other times they're doing maybe one-on-one -on -one or even like a conference virtual with their classmates and that is just wonderful but it can't um, it's I see that as only being like the the tip of the education um, I'm hoping that parents will look at um, this as an opportunity to not just um, you know help your child <laughs> be educated, um, but to take part in in their education, um, find out what they're learning, um, and offer to help them, you know, learn. See what they're working on in school, see what books they're reading, and how you can, you know, have conversations and education. And it's not always all about academics. Um, yes, schools primarily look at academics, but it's also about um, life learning and being able to um, survive once you've grown up and, and moved out. Um, you know, so there's all these life skills that, um, you know, some may not know um, or they don't, ha they won't experience until they're out in the real world. Um, part of my homeschooling program was we did all the academics that uh, were required by the state. Um, we did um, field trips. Um, now we, um, you know, there's no place to go for a field trip um, unless you take a long walk um, and make sure there's nobody on the same path that you're doing. Um, but there's a lot of museums and galleries and different um, places of learning that can are doing virtual tours. Um, they're offering um, like free um, access to some of their websites, um, programs like NASA or uh, uh, museums. Um, so you can look at your local museums and even um, nationwide um, museums and see if they offer um, virtual tours. Um, and that can be something that enhances your child's learning. Um, it also... I found that when I was homeschooling my, my children, it um, I became closer to them. And there are some times when a child needs that more one-on-one -on -one interaction. 
um, because they need help in certain subjects or sometimes all subjects. Um, and this is a way that a parent can do that, even if you are homeschooling more than one child, um, if you're a single parent, um, dual parents, um, or whatever is uh, your household type, you can tailor the education to meet your child's needs. And you would be amazed, not just how much your child can learn from you, um, but also how much you can learn from your child or along with your child. Um, my family is very big on learning about history, uh, family history, world history, and that is one thing that we have in common. So there was a lot of um, academics that um, and research that we did together and we learned together um, and it made for a great experience. I had always hoped that um, my kids weren't missing out on, you know, the public school experience, especially in 10th, 11th, and 12th grade, but they really needed me to homeschool them, and I was able to do that, and they both graduated um, in June of 2018. So um, I just wanted to offer a little bit of experience, and if any of you are watching this and you have questions about homeschooling or you're looking for ideas or websites or just some information or just some support, you can comment um, on this video below and I would be glad to make contact with you. Um, you can ask questions um, if you want a, more of a, um, a personal interaction, just let me know and I'll contact you for your email address. Um, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Um, I can't do much um, except offer some advice and share experiences. Um, but I'm hoping this will just help at least one person um, with their new experience of homeschooling their children. So um, thank you. And as I said, if you have any questions, um, you can contact me through the comments under this, um, this video. So thank you.